Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Excel provides you with tools that assist you in managing your workspace when you have multiple workbooks open. In Excel, you can have many workbooks open at the same time in order to perform functions like copying and pasting text between them, for example. To see your options for managing multiple workbooks, click the View tab in the ribbon. In the window group, you will find commands that allow you to manage your open workbooks. Let's examine the basic commands that can be found within this group. At the left end of the group, you can see the new window button. You can click this button to open your current workbook in a new window. This can be useful when you want to use two different views of your workbook simultaneously in two separate windows. Changes made in one window will appear in the other. Now when you have multiple workbooks open, you can click the Arrange All button to arrange all open workbook windows on screen. In the Arrange Windows dialog box that appears, you select an option button to choose the preferred organizational layout for your open workbooks. The options are tiled, horizontal, vertical, or cascade. Select the desired option and then click the OK button to apply the selected arrangement to the open workbooks. The tiled layout displays the workbooks as smaller windows that are arranged like tiles on a floor. This view is useful if you need to see data from all of the open workbooks simultaneously. The horizontal option is very much like the tiled option, but it will only stack the open workbooks horizontally. Likewise, the vertical option also lays them out like tiles, but this way they are laid out vertically. The cascade arrangement is useful if you want to be able to quickly switch between open workbooks while maximizing the amount of viewable space for each workbook. This option cascades the open workbooks from the upper left corner of your screen down to the lower right corner, overlapping each other so that you can view the title bars of each workbook. The active workbook is lowest and foremost in the cascaded stack. You can then click on the title bars of the other workbooks in the stack to switch between them. Or you can simply use the Switch Windows button in the Window group to switch between the open windows. Many users want to view information in two different sections of a very long worksheet in a workbook simultaneously. You can freeze one or two sections of a worksheet to prevent scrolling, and then scroll the unfrozen sections of the worksheet in order to view two different sections of a worksheet at the same time. One way to freeze panes in a worksheet is to select the cell that is below the row and to the right of the column that you want to freeze. Then click the Freeze Panes button and choose the Freeze Panes command from the button's drop-down menu. Now when you scroll through the worksheet, the information in the frozen panes will not scroll. Note that it's possible to simply choose the Freeze Top Row command or Freeze First Column command in order to freeze the top row or first column in your worksheet. This can be useful for keeping column and row titles in view while looking at data. Also note that the Freeze Panes command is a toggle command, so that you can click the Freeze Panes button and then choose the Unfreeze Panes command from the button's drop-down menu in order to turn this feature off when you're done using it. Another tool that's useful when working with longer worksheets is the split command. This command gives you the ability to split the Excel worksheet into different panes. Each pane contains its own horizontal and vertical scroll bars, so you can scroll each pane separately in order to view information from different sections of the worksheet. For example, you could split a long worksheet horizontally so that you can see the column headings at the top and any totals at the bottom of the columns at the same time. You can click the Split button that appears in the Window group to split the current worksheet into four separate panes. This allows you to scroll each pane to independent sections of the same worksheet. You can click the Split button again to remove the split panes when finished. To split the screen in half, Click into any cell that is below the row 
or to the right of the column where you want the split to appear. Then double click either the small split button that appears at the right end of the horizontal scroll bar to create a vertical split, or click the small split button that appears at the top of the vertical scroll bar to create a horizontal split. You can remove a split from the worksheet by simply double clicking on the split or by simply clicking the split button that appears in the window group on the view tab of the ribbon in order to turn this feature back off. You can click the hide button that appears within the window group in order to hide the current workbook window. You can then click the unhide button to open the unhide dialog box. You can select the name of the workbook that you want to unhide from the list shown and then click the OK button to unhide the hidden workbook. The next section of commands in the window group assists you in comparing multiple open workbooks. You can click the View Side by Side button to compare multiple open workbooks side by side with each open workbook taking an equal portion of the screen display. You can use the synchronous scrolling button to toggle the ability to simultaneously scroll multiple workbooks that are being compared side by side on or off as desired. Note that you must first have the workbooks opened and you must have already clicked the view side by side button before you can use the synchronous scrolling button function. Also note that if you have the compare side by side feature enabled and then resize or reposition either of the open workbook windows you can click the Reset Window Position button to reset the placement of the open windows. Now if you have related workbooks that you frequently open at the same time in order to view information between them, then you might consider saving them as a workspace. A workspace is a safe definition of what workbooks should be open within Excel and how Excel should arrange them on screen. The advantage to using a workspace is that when you open the workspace in the future, all of the workbooks that you have included in the workspace will be immediately opened and arranged in the preferred layout. To create a workspace, you must first open the workbooks that you want to save as members of the workspace. Also make sure that you do not have any open workbooks that you do not want to save within the workspace, which would include any blank workbooks that you may have open. Now once you have opened all of the workbooks that you want to include in the workspace, click the Save Workspace button in the window group of the View tab of the ribbon. This will open the Save Workspace dialog box. In this dialog box, select where you want to save the workspace definition, and then type a name for the workspace into the file name text box. Click Save to save the workspace. Now in the future, you can easily reopen the workspace by using the Open dialog box to navigate back to the folder into which you saved your workspace. You should see it as its own distinct icon within the Open dialog box, which you can double-click to open. Note that when you create a workspace, it only stores the definition of which workbooks to open and how they should be arranged. It doesn't change the workbooks themselves in any way. They can still be opened and changed independently of the workspace. In the same way, if you delete a workspace, it doesn't delete the actual workbooks that are associated with the workspace. Now at the far right end of the window group on the View tab in the ribbon is the Switch Windows button. You can click this button to view a drop-down menu that shows the titles of all the open workbooks in Excel. You can select the name of a workbook shown in this list to switch the focus of the application to the selected workbook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.